how many tests are now being done uh, for COVID-19 and how do you get to 20,000 tests per day? What kind of challenge is that and, and how are you going to get up to that level? Sure. So our capacity right now is around eight to 10,000 tests per day around the province. And I say there's a bit of a, 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 a day by day, it changes a little bit because there are some of the machines that we use where there has been challenges getting some of the reagents, the, the stuff that we need to do the test. So we want to double that capacity. We're doing about five to 6,000 tests a day. So not everybody in the province needs a test, as we know. Um, it's people who are symptomatic when we're investigating an outbreak or a cluster. So our capacity and uh, has gone up and will continue to go up. And we do expect the demand and the need for testing will go up as well, particularly as we head in the, into influenza season. It is the same machines that do both influenza testing, other respiratory viruses, as well as COVID. Do you have a follow-up, Ian? Yeah, um, how, it's similar, sort of a similar follow-up. Um, how are you going to get more people to take the flu vaccine? Um, what were the numbers last year pre-pandemic, and, and how do you increase those numbers um, um, this year in the midst of the pandemic? What are your goals? Yeah, so, you know, we want everybody um, who is able to have an influenza vaccine to, to take it this year to protect themselves and their family. And we know that this vaccine is safe. We know that it's effective. It's not 100%, but depending on what is circulating, uh, we know there's several strains of influenza that circulate every year. So last year we had a relatively mild influenza season, although we did have H3N1, or H3N2, I'm sorry, which is one of the ones that causes more severe illness in older people. We know that. Um, so that was uh, part of our season. And then later in our season, we had more influenza H1N1, which tends to affect younger people, and also influenza B. When we looked at what happened in the, in the Southern Hemisphere this past few months, they had a, rel a very mild season. Partly we think that's because their immunization rates were very high. And partly it's because of the circulating strains that they were seeing. We can't always use that to understand what's going to happen here, but it gives us a good idea. They also, you know, we know that people in British Columbia are very aware about respiratory infections right now. We know that um, the symptoms of influenza and COVID, especially early on, can be very similar. So we all want to stay healthy. Um, during this coming season, more so than ever, so that we're not having to go get tested, trying to figure out what it is. And we know as well that influenza causes severe illness in quite a lot of people, particularly our elders and seniors. So this is a year where we will be encouraging and making available the vaccine to everybody. Um, our rates last year uh, in healthcare were very high. We were in the 70% to 80%. Our residents of long-term care homes were quite high, as they are every year. But this year, in particular, we want everybody in the population to consider getting the influenza vaccine as well.